Welcome to the program, everyone. I'm Christiane Amanpour in Kharkiv, Ukraine's second city. It is under threat. And we are in a hotel room with blackout curtains, a nighttime curfew, and blackout all over this city. Hello everyone, I'm Michael Holmes in Atlanta. We're having some communication difficulties with Christiane Amanpour in Kharkiv. Uh, we are going to be getting back to her as soon as possible. Meanwhile, I'll continue for her graphic images of horror uh, shaking the world. Dan Rivers reporting there, and uh, we do have Christiane back now from Kharkiv. So uh, over to you uh, in that, uh, uh, that badly, badly damaged city. Indeed, Michael, thank you. We'll try and do our next interview. And if not, over to you. We will get this story out tonight. My guest is Chile Obo. Right, uh, we have lost uh, uh, Christiane again. I will pick it up. Uh, we are just going to speak now to the former president of the International Criminal Court, Chile Ibo Osuji. Um, thanks so much for being with us. Apologies for the technical difficulties. Um, from Christiane's report in Kharkiv, uh, they visited the site of a Russian strike, a, a short drive from the hotel where they are now and under curfew. Um, a, 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 a warning, though, I do want to show some of the images that you're about to see. They are graphic. Let's have a look. <laughs> 